What's going on guys? Kane here, back at it again with another unboxing video for you guys. And in today's review video, we're going to be reviewing the 4-inch Shadow Action Figure by Jack Specific. So uh, yeah, uh, I've been going out a lot, uh, searching for figures that I have yet to add to the collection. And uh, you know, the, the collection's growing, uh, slowly but surely. Um, it is the year of shadow after all, so you know, I just had to get this figure. And uh, I didn't really see the point of getting it then, because I actually have the uh, Bendy shadow figure from the first ever lineup of uh, Jack Specific Sonic figures when they first got a hold of the Sonic license back in like what, 2019, 2020-ish? So yeah, dang, that was, that was already a long time ago. And I came across them at Target, and I was like, you know what? Might as well. And uh, it was a gift. Um, and also, uh, I wanted to get, like, the actual figure, like, the action figure of it, because um, I, I came across them at Target, and I was like, you know what? Might as well. And uh, I actually wanted, you know, the, the figure of him, like, an actual action figure, because the bendable one, you know, is not really, like, articulated so like you know, I can't really move it or anything I want one that's actually articulated so yeah uh, of course this figure's already been re released like multiple times now but um, you know I just yeah I just had to get him for the collection and I don't have him yet and uh, we're gonna be uh, reviewing him in this video so uh, yeah uh, here he is you see him right there in the modern style packaging got the ring around right there you see Sonic on top. Yeah, you got the modern Sonic the Hedgehog logo in the front with the Jack Specific logo right next to it. And then you have Shadow's name right there on the bottom. Yep. As for the back of the box, you can see he's got 11 points of articulation. Now you can see what the figure is supposed to look like. Um, this is the most recent wave. Uh, they re released him yet again. Uh, wave 15. So, Shadow is the only re-released figure in this wave, uh, with the new ones being Mephilus, Heavy Gunner, and Classic Supersonic. That one is a must-have, and that actually we'll be taking a look at him in the next one. But, this video is about Shadow, so not right now. But yeah, anyways, back to the front of the box. Uh, he does come with the uh, Star Spring accessory included. So yeah, uh, not too special, you know, it's just... The same old accessories we've been getting. Um, even Sonic comes with these, but uh, whatever. Ages three and up. But uh, yeah, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and just get uh, straight into it. Forgot to mention, ages three and up. But uh, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and uh, free the ultimate life form from his chamber. Squish it a little bit. Strategy I like to use. Opening these. Yep, works like a charm. Alright, just pull them right out. Ah. Alright, move the trash out of the way. Alright, so a closer look at him. Okay, so he does have strap around his legs. So I gotta get my handy dandy scissors again. All right, got my handy dandy scissors here. So let's go ahead and just carefully cut it. Uh, snap. All right. Push this accessory out of there. Just like so. Always start with pushing the legs out first and you can probably just pull them out of there. Just arms. Be real careful with this guy. All right, there we go. So here he is. Looks nice. Let's go ahead and just put him right there. Hopefully he can stand. Let's see, you understand? There you go. All right, and this accessory, the scissors out of the way. 
All right, so here is a closer look at the figure completely out of the packaging. And uh, I will say, he looks uh, super cool. So here he is, looks great. I mean, they really did my boy Shadow Justice while making this figure. You can see he's got all the detail there. Looks uh, really accurate. Looks uh, just like his in-game counterpart. They kind of put him in a little pose there. I'm pretty sure he can just move his arms back down. You see, yeah, like that. Now his arms are kind of bent, kind of like Knuckles, like the old Knuckles figure. But yeah, uh, the paint job on this one is uh, nice as well. Uh, it's not impossible to find a figure that's like perfect, like that where it has like no paint mess ups whatsoever. Uh, but although mine does have a little paint spot right there. Um, next to the eyes, which is okay. I mean, it's not really a big deal or anything. I'd rather have it be there than anywhere else. But besides that, I I really don't notice anything uh, else wrong with this figure. So, uh, yeah, uh, he's kind of got like a blank facial expression going on there. He got his red eyes, his nose, which is not as shiny as Sonic's nose, but still painted, just a little glossy. I'm not sure if you can tell. Uh, so is the figure as well. His ears look great. Uh, of course, you've got his signature red stripes on his quills. Uh, he's got his, you know, little chest fur right there. He's also nicely painted on there as well. Yeah, it actually looks like real fur. Um, another thing that I really appreciate about this figure is that I love the fact that the rings around his wrists and his shoes are actually painted gold. Like they're actually shiny, which makes this figure even more worth it. He's even got the stripes going down his arms. Well, actually, yeah, he's even got the stripes right there. Painted. Uh, his glove cuffs as well are also painted too. So he's got all the detail he's supposed to have. I'm going down to the shoes. Yep, those are shadow shoes. That's for the bottom. His rocket boosters or air shoes, whatever you want to call them. Yep. They're also painted gold as well. Dang. Wow. Yeah. So super accurate. As for the back, you can see his quills looking real nice there. His back quills as well. And his little tail. And of course, you got like the labels right there on the back of the shoe. That's not too noticeable at all. Yeah. Uh, as for articulation, you get pretty much the standard articulation for these figures. Um, you get a 360 rotation right there on the head. Uh, you get a hinge right here on both of the arms so you can move them up and down all the way around. Uh, you get another hinge on the legs. So let's see, Shadow can kick forward right about there and back Ooh, it's hard to move it without bending the knees right about there which is pretty good um you also get the single jointed knees so you can bend them as well yeah um the arms kind of make it seem like there there's elbow joints but yeah uh, there is no elbow joints with these figures but they did, you know, make them um, bented as if they were there. But, uh, yeah, uh, you get a swivel out of the hands. Yes, so you can move them around. Uh, same thing with the shoes. <laughs> Let's see if there's any pivoting with this. Well, yeah, you can't really move the head up or down, but <laughs> that, that's all right. And they're all attached to ball joints. So, yeah. But anyways, that's pretty much... As our articulation goes, we can stand him up. And here's a closer look at his accessory. Oh, he fell. <laughs> yep, it's the same old, same old. And you know, he's just play factor. You can just push the button down. So, you know, eh, whatever. So uh, let's go ahead and compare it to other shadow figures. Alrighty. So here he is next to the two other shadows. 
So right here, you've got the first ever uh, release of Shadow by Jack Pacific. Um, in the middle, you've got, you know, the uh, four inch one from the articulated line. And then right here, you've got um, the Sonic Prime Shadow figure. So these two are actually about the same size. And this guy is obviously bigger than both of them because he's actually five inches. So, yeah. So these two scale pretty well. Um, as for scaling, go ahead and move these two out of the way. Let's compare him to another figure. Let's go ahead and get Sonic here. Put them next to each other. They always look cool next to each other. Sonic, Sonic and Shadow. Make a great duo. Just gotta keep on pushing Shadow down so he can actually stand up. So he won't fall over. Yeah, they scale uh, pretty well. I mean, of course, they're both the same size. So overall, I really like this figure. Um, I rate him a 10 out of 10. I highly recommended. Uh, great quality as always. Jack's always killing it with these figures. But anyways, guys, that's going to be about it for this video. I just want to thank you all so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you don't want to miss out on any uploads, you can always go ahead and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. You guys have a great rest of your day or night, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.